Yo, what it is guys, your boy Road Jay-Z, so we're back at again another video, so for today's video, we're gonna be unboxing a brand new mini bike, so we got sent their bike by Orexer, so I wanna give a big shout out to them for sending out one of their bikes, so for today's video, we're gonna be unboxing it, and see what it do, so let's get into today's video. We got a little graphic kit. So this is a 105cc mini bike. It got a little baby motor on it. Nothing too crazy. You feel me? We got a graphic kit from OX. Are you feel me? Sheesh. So we're going to put this to the side. Oh my goodness. So yes, sir. So y'all, most of y'all already know what type of frame this is. It's a well-known frame in California, anywhere. But if y'all know me, y'all know that I like these type of frames. So we're going to go ahead and get the rest of this box off. So let's get to it. Comment down below what y'all think from this Im image right here. What do y'all think of it? I know most of y'all already know what it is. But yeah, man, let's go ahead and put this camera down and open this box. All right, so the bike already come halfway assembled. All you got to do is put the front wheel on and the bars. You should be good, man. But yes, yeah, sir. So this is like a 105cc motor. It's a little baby motor. But you feel me? If y'all know about these bikes, y'all know y'all can put some of the biggest motors in it. So let's get this thing out the box and let's get to it. So it comes with everything we need to assemble the bike. So we got the the axle with the um the neck bolt for the bars. We got the um the, the little riser that the bars sit on. So we're gonna be putting all this stuff on. We're gonna get out to the test right. So let's get to that. All right, so this is the finished product of the bike, so it's ready to go. You feel me? We got the fender on, we got the back fender, the brakes, and everything ready to go. We got gas and oil. Make sure you put oil in it because it do not come with oil or gas. But look, man, we finna go ahead and take this bike on my um. If y'all don't know, I got a private street. I got a private road that I own, so I'm gonna be doing the test right on the street. Um, to show y'all the top speed test. Make sure you wear your helmet when you're riding this bike. Like I said, man, if you want to get this bike, it's going to be linked in the description or in the comments pan. So make sure y'all go ahead and go get y'all issue because they can deliver it right to your door. But yeah, man, let's get to it. So let's see what it do. You feel me? Sheesh, first start. First pull, I meant to say, you feel me? Whoa, whoa, whoa. So yeah, this is full throttle right here. So this is this bike is good for like a little kid that's learning how to ride a mini bike so if you like a beginner that's getting into it i'll say get something like this because you don't need to be on nothing with a bigger motor this motor right here gets you in the game for like little kids so if you're under you're around 13 years old seven six you might want to look into getting something like this or ask your parents for your birthday or something so we are doing 25 man and i feel the governor hit so yeah, this is perfect for a little kid. So if you're looking for a beginner bike or you get, I'll say get something like this. See what it do on some dirt. Whoa. All right, man, so we back on it. So the brakes work pretty good for the 79cc motor. But anything bigger, you got a bigger motor, you definitely gotta upgrade the brakes. But for this 105cc motor, it works pretty good. And one thing I like about the Mega Motos and, and this frame, your piece of 
uh, your feet sit taller. She don't gotta worry about scraping it. You can, you know, rule with it. I look, you like this, like some bike that you just ride to the store. You don't go too far. You feel me? Just cruise on it till you get used to it. A lot of upgrades to it: front suspension, rear suspension, stretch kits, and everything to make this bike look good. You feel me? You can add hydraulic brakes right now this is a cable driven brake but it's doing pretty good it locked the whole back wheel up a lot of ideas i want to do i might get the go power Sports stretch kit with the brakes front suspension but i gotta really decide on what i want to do but the motor i can upgrade this motor so 105 cc they do got carb upgrades and exhaust so if you want to upgrade this in the future to get uh like 50 miles per hour you could do that but you feel me with all each his own but in my opinion i say take this motor off and swap it with a 212 predator a 224 anything in that range you have a lot of fun and just switch out the gear i'm gonna probably go to um fastly mini bikes and see if they can give me a 35 chain setup for this gear without having me run an adapter but man we got a lot of stuff coming to this bike so sure it's stable you can lean with it rock with it and all that you feel me? You can get put upgraded bars, dirt bike bars, riser kits to raise the bars up. You feel me? Pearson, this is the bike that I got sent out. This is a stock form bike. And this is the one that I own already. So look, this one got a aftermarket um, engine plate. So I can put a bigger motor like a 212 Predator. It got the street tire in the back with the hydraulic brakes and it is stretched. So the old tab used to sit right here and I put it back here. So it is a stretcher look. And man, this bike is not even done, so I can do front suspension on both of these bikes. Parts are interchangeable. I can do a lot of stuff. And this one got a smaller sprocket. This is a 54 T sprocket, and this is a 74. So you see the tallness and everything. You feel me? So yeah, man, this thing got a lot of upgrades. So a little cruiser bike, and this is the race bike. So comment down below what y'all think and what we should do to them. But yeah, man. So yeah, man, I want to give a big shout out to OXer for sending out this bike. This is a good bike for a kid that is getting into the mini bike community. And I will be doing a follow-up video on this bike. So, like I said, if you're a beginner and you're trying to get into mini bikes, this is a good starting point. Because you can always upgrade the motor to a bigger motor, front suspension, stretch kits, and all this other good stuff that you can get for this bike. So, if you're trying to, this is a good starter bike for anybody that can't get any other frame. But yeah, man. If you're new to the channel, make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and man, thank y'all for tuning in. If you're new to the channel, make sure I drop that sub. And if you want to get this bike, it's going to be linked in the description and in the comment section. Make sure I go tap in with them. Shout out to Onox for the bike. You feel me? Peace out.